Williams, Bianca Williams have been brought in for Anika Nura and Louise Bloor, Ashley Nelson on the anchor. The Bahamas with uh, Shanika Ferguson, semi-finals 100 in the second leg, Katrina Seymour takes them off, but not the strongest quartet. Wales, well, for an hour and a half last night, they were out. They thought they'd been disqualified. Equaled their own national record, but then reinstated. It was deemed their changeover from the second to third was legal. So they get another chance. The women go here, the men, that chap there, doing what he does. He'll be with us. But uh, there's Blessing Okagbari for the Nigerian quartet. She goes on the second leg here. It's Gloria Sumne, Okagbari, Dominic Duncan and Ozo. So they're hoping to get out quickly and hold on. Jamaica have Keron Stewart, Veronica Campbell-Brown, Shilani Calvert and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price on the anchor leg. England and Jamaica start the favourites. Trinidad and Tobago, Canada also in here in lane seven and eight. Canada the third quickest qualifier, the final of the women's four by 100 metres. So away they go cleanly and Asha Phillip looking to put England in a, a good position but uh, Jamaica looking strong with Keron Stewart already and the handovers are looking for them, uh, clean enough for England at the moment, blessing Okabari, the double sprint gold medalist has it for Nigeria trying to put them in a good position but Jamaica leading at the moment, Veronica Campbell-Brown with the bat and on to Shiloni Calvert and England have it now with uh, Jody Williams, silver in the 200 metres and Nigeria still in a good position but England will look to chase them down because Nigeria don't have the strongest anchor leg but it's Jamaica well played at the moment, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price is going to storm to gold, a huge win for Jamaica and England trying to get silver, it will be Nigeria, England third, they take the bronze medal but we thought that England might be able to push Jamaica close, no such things, no thoughts of that, a games record for Jamaica, 41-84 what a performance, dominant from the Jamaican quartet. All four ran well, but Shelly Ann Fraser Price put her in that position, and there is no chance that she will be caught. And she was hunting only the time there. 41 83. In fact, now the quickest in the world this year. And the games record goes to Jamaica. And uh, Rachel Johncock gets her embrace with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. So it's bronze for England, silver for Nigeria who had assumed and Okagbari putting them in a great position, but Jamaica, no catching them. No, no catching them. That's a quick time. That's a very fast time. And as you said, it's the quickest in the world. And uh, let's not forget, we did have the World Relay Championships in the warm in the Bahamas a little uh, earlier on in the year. But uh, before we look at the replays, this pole vault final really is warming up. Sally Pig there. Well, it was a pretty solid run from the English uh, quartet. And of course, you know, Jamaica with that such an experienced team, you know, the, you really look at that team and think, well, where could that get much better? But Karen Stewart ran a really good lead off for them. Campbell Brown, Calvert, Fraser Price, so much experience, tricky conditions, wet, could have been fraught with all sorts of dangers, but a good clean performance from the Jamaicans. And for England on the first leg, Asha Phillip, the change of order, of course. Ash got out pretty well, but Jamaica, Karen Stewart, and such a big first leg. Not even a great handoff, to be fair, for Jamaica. Campbell Brown, though, just pure speed. Okagbari gave him chase. And Okagbari was the one who just put the gap, enough of a gap between Nigeria and England, with Jody Williams on the top bend. Ashley Nelson is going to bring it home, but that gap that uh, Okagbari created was just too much. Jamaica had gone, they're away. Shelly Ann Fraser Price safely in her hand and Nigeria with uh, Ozo just enough with Ashley Nelson chasing hard not quite going to get there but what a run by the Jamaicans that's a really good performance from them in these conditions Nigeria probably should all go and thank Okagbari for that well look at the changeovers and a Shelly Ann Fraser Price well Shaloni Calvert knows that it's all done and dusted there as you say, it's such a good run because not only were they running quickly, but the changeovers are good because looking at the English changeovers and a talented quartet, they were pretty slick, the English changeovers. They were all at a good stretch and a good pace and uh, this was a good squad, as we said, that Anika Nura and Louise Bloor had been running in the heats, but bringing in Bianca Williams and Jodie Williams, the 20-year-olds, the, the real rising talents of sprinting, and then Ashley Nelson on the anchor leg, but uh, try as Ashley Nelson might, she couldn't quite get back to the Nigerian Loreto Uzo, who's, who's not a high-caliber sprinter, but a bronze medal, another medal for the collection.
And here's another bronze for England. Here's, here's the team that were having a quick peek at the monitor, and then you popped up on the monitor. Asha, tell me about that. Um, I think that was really good. The weather let us down today, but we know, um, I think we drilled our minds that Scotland was going to be like this anyway. So I think, yeah, as a quartet, we did quite well. We wasn't, I don't think we're all happy about the time, but the fact that we got it round, it's the first time we've done it together. I'm proud of these girls. We've got a lot more to give. We've got Europeans next, and I'm just proud of them, really, to be honest. And Bianca, this is such a young team you're building for the future, really. Um, yeah, um, it's a good effort from us girls. We know we're still young. We've got, we've got Europeans next, we've got Worlds next year, so um, we can do it. We know we can. Today wasn't our day, you know. The weather was just appalling, but we can't make excuses, you know. You know, no, Europeans could be, our, could be our time. It wasn't right, right, right now. Uh, Jody, it was a game's record that won it for Jamaica. They had a stellar team, obviously. Had you hoped to be closer to Nigeria? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we came out here to win. Every single team on that track was there to win. Um, Jamaica was just the better team on the day, um, but I'm so proud of us girls, you know. Obviously, we're all young, it's a, it's a young team, and you know, like the other girls said, going into Europeans, we're gonna be out there to win it. That's the exciting thing. Look at this quartet here, Ashley, and, and British female sprinting's in such rude health at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it was great that we could run Annika and Louise in the heat, and then also on the final shows, there's so many girls fighting for spots and we all do it together and we couldn't do it without each other, as well as our personal coaches and our, our relay coach, Luna Booth. Well, well done on the bronze medal and good luck to the Europeans. Keep it going. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to stress, Asha Phillip, that the weather is not often like this in Scotland. <laughs> Jamaica, games record. Nigeria take the silver, England the bronze and a new national record again for Wales down in seventh place.